What's happening guys? My name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you back to the Villos Journey episode number 41. We are here at Sepang for the Malaysian Grand Prix. The Mercedes team were a little bit disappointed to say the least after the mishaps that happened to Sergio at the uh, end of the Australian Grand Prix. But we are here in Sepang, Kuala Lumpur and um, it should be a good race for Sergio. They've sorted out a few things. They still have quite a few issues. It's been reported that in practice they had a brake failure, but that's meant to be a, meant to be fixed, so it should all be good for them. But, you know, you can never be too sure in this sport of ours because you do have some anonymies happen, and I think the Mercedes boys know it's going to be a difficult season, but they are expected to hit back in Spain. Spain, they will have, they are saying that they will have a competitive fast paced car we are here on the grid now we've got five lights and we are away now as Sergio gets off but yeah they're saying that Spain will be the time that they uh, hit the hit the road running and they finally have a competitive car as you can see here though in Malaysia they haven't got a competitive car looking by the start there but Lewis Hamilton's having a good good job he's up into third now battling around with the two Red Bulls but Sergio also up there battling he's now got himself up into second but there goes Hamilton Raikkonen runs wide and that slips through a Red Bull between Hamilton and Sergio losing place down to sixth now he's got Fernando Alonso going up his inside but Sergio blocking off but Fernando not giving up whether they're getting in a tussle with Hulkenberg ahead of him as he's got he's quite a lot of his curves now going up the inside there locking his brakes up and that's uh, ruined his exit out of that corner and he's down to third position now so Raikkonen slips into the lead of this Grand Prix, uh, sorry, second in this Grand Prix, and Vettel is leading. Hamilton's in fourth, so it's a good showing for the Mercedes boys, but whether or not that will continue, we're going to have to find out as we go through this very satisfying corner. So if you hit that perfectly, everyone loves that corner. On lap three, low, and there you can see Sebastian Vettel on lap three. Sebastian Vettel has run wide, and there's Lewis Hamilton spinning the other way, so clearly Sergio having to avoid Sebastian Vettel has then caused Hamilton to go into his side pod, and that has literally spun him around 360. 360 degrees now going into the final corner there are the two rebels behind him and Weber's up into third so Vettel but you can see the two rebels behind there are squabbling side by side so whoever comes out on top there will be very interesting but Weber is leading the drivers championship at the moment followed by Vettel now as we come onto lap four Hulkenberg there getting into the side of um, Davilo so Sergio is not having a good time as you see there the Red Bull out and out pace breezing past there's Weber here comes Vettel but Sergio diving up the inside and he enters the pits on that four trying to get a bit of an undercut on the rest of the field whether or not it works we're gonna have to find out but he enters the pits in I think a, probably a second position I don't know whether he would have kept it but he enters in second position. There's Raikkonen and sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix now. Coming in, what sort of time can he set? He's got dust and just smoke and just hor horrible stuff coming off his tyres there. Uh, clearly, the pet lane isn't clean now. On lap 8, he's got Hulkenberg on the back of him. Weber got past him during the pit stops, but you can see now Nico Hulkenberg going to try and try and get past. He's just hit with his end plate, just hit Sergio's left front. Going now around the outside. Is he oh, Sergio's in the pits again on lap 8, so he's making these tyres last four laps as he comes in the pits from... P3, you've got uh, Hulkenberg, Vettel and Alonso behind him, so he comes in now, he needs to set another good time, as you can see another car coming out, coming in behind him, so I think, can we see who that is, I believe that looks to be a Force India coming in, or, no it's a Sauber, so the Sauber boy's coming in also, Sergio just gets out ahead in time with the car, as the Sauber now enters the pits, he's on prime tyres, they're not really sure the team whether or not there will be rain, because this track is very unpredictable, but now on lap 10, he's in 10th position, he goes Pass Sutil nice and easy on the back on the home straight going into turn one now does overshot it a little bit obviously carrying a lot of speed uh, for, thanks to DRS and Kurz but he's up into ninth now which is not really where he wants to be but he's on a completely different strategy now so really his best finishing position may be sixth as you can see now Fernando Alonso right behind Sergio in that Ferrari it's former teammates the former Ferrari teammates the prancing horse the, the, well, the four ex prancing horse Sergio De Villo going up the taking the inside line which compromises exit out of that turn but now he has the inside line going through here Alonso should get better traction out the corner but Sergio squeezes him out cleanly fairly a good battle there from them two but I can't help but Phil Fernando will get past on the next DRS zone as you can see now on lap 15 Fernando has in fact got past but Sergio is holding him up as he decides to go into the pits it must have been a last minute decision noticing and you can see there he's got no grip on these tyres so he's not really made them last as long as they need to be uh, need to be held but 
entering the pits now from P. I don't know where he was because now everyone's in the pits. You can see all the teams are out. The Force Indians, the McLarens, the Red Bulls. He comes in, he's got grassy tyres, a nice fresh pair of rubber on his Mercedes AMG Petronas car. This is a very interesting now. As you can see, Paul DeResta up in seventh. Sergio up the inside. Primes versus options, and the prime tyres come out on top here. So Sergio having a nice battle, but not really with the cars he wants. He's having two Force Indias, and he's dominated by the Ferrari as well. But here we go. Coming on to lap 21, he enters the pits for what I can only assume to be a fresh pair of option tyres, because there's no point going for primes for only six laps. And he comes in now. What sort of time can the boy set? He does, in fact, put on primes. So instead of options, he must have wore out all of his option tyres. So he's puts on a set of primes clearly not confident in holding up for six laps on their option tyres to playing it safe over speed as he exits now there goes a Sauber I believe that's Hulkenberg it is indeed so on lap 28 Hulkenberg's right there he holds in and he's up into seventh now which is not good that's actually a, a cage from so Hulkenberg's pulled out 9.5 second gap so Hulkenberg and the Sauber is having an absolute cracking season so far as Mark Webber wins the Malaysian Grand Prix his second win in a row to Mastin Vettel comes home in second but we're gonna have to find out the rest of it as we're getting feed now that Kimi Raikkonen is in third position but more importantly for Sergio and the Mercedes boys they're battling now over the points they're going to they're going to get the points here no matter what seventh and eighth but whether or not it will be De Villa or Hamilton we're gonna find out who gets better traction I don't think Hamilton's gonna go for it now we must have been told by the team don't risk it we just want the points and safe and they do in fact come home safely this time Sergio gets around the final corner with tires that are reasonably uh, worn, but he doesn't get fourth position, he gets seventh position, which is not the best thing for Sergio. So, this is your race classification coming up now. So, Mark Webber did in fact come home first. Eight seconds behind him was Sebastian Vettel. It wasn't Raikkonen, it was Fernando Alonso who came home third. Raikkonen took fourth, Massa fifth. Sixth was Hulkenberg, seventh was Sergio De Villo, eighth was Hamilton, ninth was Sergio Perez, and tenth indeed was uh, Paul de Resta. So, that was a very, very, very intense race for one and all who watched that. I hope you guys did enjoy all that we can say now is we really really hope that Sergio gets a good good car for Catalonia and him and Lewis have got bags bag bag loads of potential but they just need a good solid car as you can look in through now constructors Red Bull lead from Ferrari Lotus and Sauber guys all it's left for me to say is thank you for watching my name is OTG I will see you very very shortly for more Formula One content in the near future goodbye